Hi everyone, Coach Steve with a short video on which would be the best course to choose for your 70.3. Focus on Europe, I have another one uh, on North America coming out. So yes, you still have to cover the same distance in all of these races, 1.9k uh, swim, 90k cycle and 21k run. But not all courses are created equal and some are more challenging than others. So let me go through which are the best courses to choose if you are gonna be looking for your first one. All right, so we're gonna do it in classic movie style in reverse order. And I'm gonna talk a bit about um, how easy it is to get there, accommodation, race logistics, if there is um, a split or a single transition. If it's a split transition, it means that you have to go to one place to drop off your bike and your bike gear when you're going to be transitioning from swim to bike. And then also you need to go to another place if you're going to drop off your bike to run, your run kit. Just something that will be more, more, little more complex the day before, but on the race day it'll be smooth enough, but it is a consideration. Course difficulty, we'll talk about it, the swim, the bike, the run, and also the time of year, and also in terms of what that means in terms of typical climate, and also if we bring it back a bit, when are you gonna do your longest bikes and runs in the lead up to that race? Okay, so first up we have, um, a race that's close to the airport and has loads of accommodation that are really central to the start and the finish. Makes your logistics very easy on race day and reduces stress. A big plus on for your first race. The race logistics, it is a single transition, so you just need to go to one place to drop off your um, swim to bike stuff and your bike to run stuff. But it is long and it's renowned for being long. But everything's all very central. In terms of the course, the swim is in the sea and it's in a classic horseshoe shape. You go out one loop and back and the water is pristine. I've done this race a number of times and I love it. The bike itself um, is not 100% flat because it does have one long climb for around 8K, but it's nice, easy climbing and you have 20K flat going into that climb and then you've some technical descent on the other side and then the last 40K is all flat home all the way home it's actually a nice course the run is three loops and it's flat and it's through the village where the support is fantastic so it gets a lot of thumbs up on that point the time of year it is may so the weather itself on the day can be uh, mild so that's great but you will need some winter training to get ready for this looking at it this way it's a perfect way of getting yourself set up for an early season if you're going to do other races after it and we are, of course, talking about 70.3 Mallorca, a fabulous race. And number two, we have a race that is, again, close to the airport. It's city-based, so there's plentiful accommodation, either hotels, Airbnbs. Again, you can keep the cost down that way. Single transition, um, again, reduces the hassle of that um, <clears throat> piece of logistics. The swim is in a bay, uh, nice and sheltered. The water temperature tends to be not mild. The, the bike, while not flat, it's rolly and one of the and a single loop course and the road surfaces are superb. Um, the run is a three and a half K loop um, course, again on the flat course and through the city. So great fun there. It is in June, so there will be minimal winter, winter training, but again, and it can be slightly hot on the day, but overall really positive reports coming out about 73 Elsinore in Denmark. Okay, so before we reveal number one, some honorable mentions, uh, I couldn't give, and again, I'm really interested to see what people think about it. Tell me what you think in the comments, if you think I'm nuts or you think there's races that I should mention. Um, so, but this is my way of adding in some others. 70.3 Cork, it's actually, uh, and again, I'd be, I'd be murdered if I didn't because uh, I, I am Irish and I know a lot of people who run the race, but it's a superb course in terms of, it's a little bit more tricky in terms of the hilliness of the course but the, um, the support is amazing, the swim course is great, the run course is lovely, worth considering. Um, 70.3 Warsaw, a fairly flat, flat and fast course as well, and a just amazing scenery. Again, maybe not for your first, but definitely for your second or third. And then 70.3 Turkey. This is one of the fastest um, bike courses on the circuit and does end up for a lot of PBs for a lot of athletes. Worth considering. Okay. So what have you got in number one? Um, now it's again, some travel, it's, the logistics are a little bit um, 
more involved as you do the, the actual city you have to fly into and is a little bit away from where the course is. Bit of a giveaway in what my, my hint here. Um, it does have single transition, again, easily logistics. The course itself, the swim is in the river and it's a, a nice, uh, nice, nice bit of swim there. The bike is flat-ish um, in terms of there's a little bit of rollers in from around 30 to 40 and 50K, but it's flat, of course, and the, the road surface is absolutely awesome. The run is, again, three and a half loops through the town. Um, nothing really to talk about in terms of hills, but it's very nice and flat. June, again, similar to Elsinore, so there will be some minimum winter training depending what your base fitness is like, but it is a great little race. It can consistently uh, clock some of the fastest overall uh, first timers um, and overall PBs. And the race is 70.3 Luxembourg. Okay, guys, that's my top three. I will be doing um, a similar uh, was a countdown for the American 70.3 courses. I um, hope if you did if you did like this and find it interesting, please give us a thumbs up. Um, also, please subscribe because then you'll get the update about when I do the other courses. If you're interested in going a bit longer on my YouTube channel, I already have the top three courses for full distance for America and also Europe. Okay, guys, hope you found it useful and best of luck, whatever you choose.